Hi everyone, I'm Mike from the Media Man Studio Review, and since my last video on 3D rendering was so popular, I thought I'd do a follow-up. Follow RTX 3090, we've already done RTX 3090. Two RTX 3090s. You want me to render on two RTX 3090s? All right, let's give this a go. Hey everyone, welcome to the Media Man Studio Review. And on our channel, we like to bridge that gap between the creative content and technical requirement and just supply information to our viewers so they can make informed decisions when they're purchasing equipment for the creative industry. We did some videos a while back where we looked at the RTX 3000 series cards, the 3060, 70, 80, and 90, and rendering in both Maya and Blender. So today we're just following that up with rendering with two RTX 3090s to see how much production time can be saved and how much of a benefit it is to use two graphic cards or GPUs in the same system. I do not recommend using two RTX 3090s in the Lenovo P620. This system has a thousand watt power supply and the two RTX 3090s pretty much takes up almost that entire thing, but I am closely monitoring that. I do have a wattage meter right here to make sure that we're not exceeding that. If I was to run a CPU intensive task or there was some other task running in the background, that would definitely exceed the 1000 watts. So we're just using the basic blender scene that we used last time. Uh, the same settings, everything's the same. If we go over here to edit preferences, we do notice that it's seeing both of the GPUs and we're just gonna go over and we're gonna hit render, render image. So the last time we rendered this out, it rendered out in about 42 seconds. Let's just see how long it takes when we're rendering with two GPUs. So the render's completed and rendered in about 33 seconds. So we're not getting a complete doubling of performance, uh, but we are getting quite a bit more performance, 42 seconds versus 43 seconds. So we're losing or we're gaining about 25% uh, for sure. So I also thought that we could take a look at some of the other Blender scenes like the BMW scene. So now that we have it open, we're going to then again, just go with the GPU. We're using denoising. We'll change that over to optics and we'll hit render and we'll render out the scene. And it's rendering pretty quickly. You can see here, it's just filling the tiles up and it is almost done in 12 seconds. So it was about 24 seconds when I was doing it with one RTX 3090 and I'm looking at about 12 seconds. So the next and the last thing that I want to take a look at here really quick today was the, the Octane renderer from Atoyo. And this one takes a little longer but it's a great benchmark to see, you know, how much the GPU usage that your machine is actually using up. So it did recognize both of the RTX 3090s with 24 gigabytes of DDR and it's enabled RTX. So we're gonna hit the run button. And I also have a hardware monitor that's running here in the background. So we're gonna take a look at how much GPU utilization we're getting and how much RAM's being used during this test. So we've already started. And if we look here, we're already at a full 99% utilization on the first card and 99% utilization on the second card. And memory usage is only about 16% and 19%. So the test is completed. And when we were rendering with one RTX 3090, we're getting scores of about 645. When we're rendering with two RTX 3090s, we're getting 1290. So we're getting, well, in this case, exactly twice the amount of performance out of two GPUs. So this was just a little quick video to see how two GPUs, in this case, two RTX 3090s, can increase your productivity in your studio or in your workflow. Today's test, they did really well. Um, I'm quite impressed of the amount of performance that you get out of two GPUs. Again, they're really hard to find on the market right now, but if you can get your hands on one, it's gonna increase productivity for your artist and your studio. And don't forget to hit that like button. It does really help the channel. It gets more views. It gets the community growing a little larger. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications so you can be notified when new videos do come out. And I just started a Discord chat server so that we can have a little more interaction and again, start to build a community where people can post stuff, ask questions, maybe post some of the solutions that they've come up with and how that they're uh, increasing their productivity in their studios. So I really enjoyed doing this video for you and I'll see you in the next one.